This Disney DVD is enhanced with Disney's Fast Play. Your movie and a selection of bonus features will begin automatically. To bypass Fast Play, select the main menu button at any time. Fast Play will begin in a moment. signs he tried to warn us now in our darkest hour he's got a plan to save us all saving the world, it helps to be a little chicken. What's that noise? Sorry. Nervous eater. Chicken Little. Son, there's something I want you to know. What, Dad? In about three seconds, I'm going to scream like a little girl. Get ready to blast off on an exciting adventure. Wow! It's Little Einstein. The Baby Einstein Company has created something new for preschoolers. <gasps> Look at that. It's beautiful. Join Leo, our confident leader. The artistic and elegant June. Our musician and funny guy, Quincy. And the always adventurous Annie. As they travel through the world on their incredible transforming ship, Rocket. It's a musical mission that's out of this world. Disney's Little Einstein. Premiering only on Disney DVD and Video August 2005. And for more information, log on to LittleEinstein.com. Nuggety! Guess who? Gee, I don't know. Uh, Pooh Bear? Oh, he's good. Very good. New on Disney DVD. It's a very spookable movie. Boo! Pooh's Heffalump Halloween. It's going to be Lumpy's first time trick-or-treating. Well, that is exciting. The gang from the Hundred Acre Wood and their new friend Lumpy set out for some haunted holiday fun until... Could you start again from that first kabloon? I want to go home. What if we leave now? We won't get to show you how great Halloween is. Walt Disney Pictures presents a Halloween adventure. We gotta catch the kabloon that proves the best way to face your fears. You would never leave me alone, would you, Roo? Is to find your friends. Never, Lumpy. I promise. Pooh's Heffalump Halloween, the movie. Brave to get brave forever. Coming soon to Disney DVD.
there. My name's Rue, and I want you to meet my new best friend. His name's Lumpy. Well, um, that's what I call him, but his whole name is, uh... Heffridge Thumpler, Brumpy, Heffalump the Fourth. He's a Heffalump. I'd never seen a Heffalump before I met Lumpy, but I heard Heffalumps have been around for a real long time. Heffalumps have always been around, but no one's actually really seen one, so we get to answer the question. What's a Heffalump? What's, What's a, a Heffalump? I think it's a tiny rooster. Caterpillar? A gorilla? <laughs> In the original literature, uh, Heffalump was meant to be the child's mispronunciation of elephant. They kind of look and walk and sound like elephants, but they're really not elephants. They're just basically uh, a big bowl of fun and full of life. <laughs> Before I met Lumpy, I didn't even know what a heffalump looked like. So I asked around, starting with my friend Tigger. Hmm, you got me there. They could be green and pink, with tusks that's hairy, with a big old nose. They also have antennas. It does sound rather heffalumpish. At one point we thought plaid. Plaid could be really great for Lumpy. Well, most of the Pooh characters are actually stuffed animals, and so we want to make Lumpy a stuffed animal as well. And that was kind of the fun of conceiving of him is, you know, he's got stitching and threads for hair and stuff like that. A heffalump would be exactly like an elephant, but the way a child would dream it. It would be if a, if a little boy or a little girl had seen an elephant in a book and then had seen it in his dreams. We wanted them to be part fantasy, part myth, part magical creature. Uh, we knew that we wanted him to be round and friendly and cuddly and stuff that would be fun to hold and hug and squeeze. Ah, Chico's! <laughs> One of the big problems that uh, heffalumps find themselves in is that, well, they're kind of, you know, chunky like uh, heffalumps are apt to be. But there's one thing heffalumps are really great at. They're great at cannonballing in lakes. Knowing what a heffalump looks like is pretty important when you're looking for one. But Lumpy taught me that it's awfully good to know what they sound like, too. We had to figure out what Lumpy sounded like, so we did a little research. <coughs> but unfortunately, that wasn't exactly right. <laughs> Lumpy's early attempts were these vocal gymnastics, gurgly, wet, Silly sounding. That's definitely an early Heffalump call. All right, no more fun and games. Lumpy tells Rue that all Heffalumps have a call, and when Lumpy manages to make his call, he has succeeded in coming of age and reaching adulthood. Maybe we never saw a Heffalump before Lumpy, because we just didn't know where to look. Where's the place you go look for Heffalump? In the ocean, in the zoo. A planet called Jupiter. Behold, Heffalump Hollow. Oh, oh, d -d -d -ear. Characters in the Hundred Acre Wood uh, know that Heffalumps come from Heffalump Hollow. It's really a little more lush and green and woodsy, but it's still just part of the Hundred Acre Wood. Uh, Heffalumps dig these very snug little burrows, uh, and they stock them full of jams and jellies and all good things to eat because they love to eat. Uh, and they always gather at sunset to tell stories. I think they tell stories about growing up in Heffalump Hollow and traditional things. It's always around a fire, eating cookies. Now there was still one other thing that nobody knew. Something kind of, sort of, well, important. How does one capture a heffalump. Grab it and put it on your neck and hold it, either in a jar or go back to my house and grab it and try to catch it. We contacted experts. No one could tell us how to capture a heffalump, so we went to the Hundred Acre Wood, our friends in the Hundred Acre Wood. That's it. Traps. We need traps. Well, these Wellingtons here act as the counterweight for the bowling ball. And the idea is that the heffalump comes along and jostles the chair, and it releases the bowling ball. Mm -hmm. And while that's happening, uh, the fishing pole bounces back and sets all this silverware, which is suspended to the colander here, to jangling, which is a kind of an alarm that lets uh, Tigger and Rabbit and everybody know that they've actually caught one. So they decide they need to build traps, but they have no idea what to use as bait. Well, they love to eat. They love to eat for sure, particularly cookies, and uh, the cookies really should have a lot of cinnamon in them. Uh, they don't have any cookies on hand, they'll uh, be happy with a blueberry muffin, but only in a pinch. Uh, 
but they're a real favorite. They're a hands-down favorite. They really love Rumpeldoodles. Authentic Heffalump Rumpeldoodles. Rumpeldoodles. Okay, what we're going to do, Frank, we're just okay. going to put all these dry ingredients okay. in, and then I need you to add some of these spices. Only the eastern heffalumps use nutmeg. This is cinnamon, which is the western half of heffalump Hall's <laughs> recipe. Do this with your mom at home. It's okay to lick my finger, right? I mean, it's, yes, it is. It's the best part of baking. That's right, it is. Oven should be preheated to 350 and grease your cookie sheet. Spoon the dough onto the cookie sheet. Pop into the oven 10, maybe 15 minutes. And here are the rumple doodles. <laughs> Once we figured out how to catch a heffalump, my friends did something that had never, ever been done before. The first heffalump expedition in history. Tensions were definitely high. I mean, you could just feel there was something in the air. What we were doing was going to go down in the history books. All of that work, all of that preparation, all of that research was coming down to this one moment. And just as we were about to set out on our expedition. <laughs> Everybody calls me Lumpy. Lumpy. A real live, breathing heffalump just jumped right out and introduced himself. I'll never forget. And he was really as nice as he could be, so everybody really became fast friends. Well, it shows us, I hope, that uh, many of us are afraid of someone that we don't know, and if we just took the time to get to know them, we might find out they're just like us. But well, what we learned is that you don't capture Heffalump. It captures you. That's what Brew learned by letting Lumpy into his heart and home. Wow! <laughs> so that's it. That's how Lumpy became our newest friend in the Hundred Acre Wood. And thanks to all my new friends. Welcome to the family, Lumpy. I'm so happy to be here. celebrate the arrival of two new Disney Princess DVDs. I knew it! Just put your hand in mine. Music has never been more magical than with Disney Princess Sing-Along Songs Volume 2 Enchanted Tea Party, featuring games like Princess Tea Time, dance-alongs, and 12 wonderful sing-alongs, including an all-new song, Where Dreams Begin. Where Dreams Begin. The fantasy continues with Disney Princess Stories, Volume 3. Fairy tales and fun with your favorite Disney princesses like Ariel and Jasmine. That sounds fabulous. Plus a surprising new story featuring Cinderella. Now that's more like it. There's everything a girl needs to unlock her imagination and become a princess. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's two new volumes of the Disney Princess Collection coming to Disney DVD this fall. Collect them all. The fun of learning continues with the Disney Learning Adventure Series on Disney DVD. What a terrific idea! It's two new learning adventures. My goodness. Winnie the Pooh Shapes and Sizes and Winnie the Pooh The Wonderful World of Words. Wow! First, your kids will discover all the shapes and sizes in the 100-acre wood. It's spectacular. And they can have fun with the magic of words. Definitely. Absolutely. Let's what will we discover? It's learning adventure time. Developed by Disney and leading educators, kids can discover the magic of learning. Could you teach him? <laughs> yeah, Rabbit, would you please? Your preschoolers will want to watch these fun lessons again and again. This is fun. It's Disney Learning Adventures, Winnie the Pooh Shapes and Sizes, and Winnie the Pooh, The Wonderful World of Words. Coming soon to Disney DVD. For the first time ever on Disney DVD. Once upon the last day of the golden summer, there was a boy and a bear. A classic A.A. A. Milne story comes to life in a feature-length movie. Pooh's Grand Adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. Excuse me, Robert. Would you happen to have a, um, a 
Christopher Robin about you? Don't look at me. <sighs> Bonner, Christopher Robin is missing. He isn't where he should be and wasn't where we were. And now, who and his friends must bring him back home? Then it's a quest, is it? And we have no idea what we'll find. Adventure is a wonderful thing. Featuring five delightful songs. Forever you and me, forever and ever. And a bonus short, Pooh Skies. It came from up there, somewhere. Celebrate the 80th anniversary of Winnie the Pooh in grand fashion. Today is a good day for being Pooh. With Pooh's grand adventure, The Search for Christopher Robin. You're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Coming soon to Disney DVD. But the most important thing is, I'll always be with you. How very nice for us. legend now experience for the first time the beginning of tarzan's journey as a young boy in an all-new adventure tarzan 2 with some old friends and new faces hello when are you gonna introduce me wasn't for me. This kid'll be just another hairless ape in a leather diaper. <laughs> they ought to tie a banana around his neck to get the other apes to play with him. <laughs> this kid couldn't find himself if he had a map. I had to show him where he really was. I'm an ape. Kid, you're not an ape. I'll prove it to you. My arm, hair. Your arm, all hair. Not an ape. Perhaps some rare species of ugly thing. Ugly? Oh, yes. Very. Ugly. I taught this kid everything he knows. The yell? My idea. I told him, son, when you come into a party, make an entrance. Let out a yell like your loincloth's got a wedgie. Experience the beginning of the greatest adventure of them all. Featuring new songs by Phil Collins. I finally figured out what you are. A Tarzan. Tarzan 2. Premiering on Disney DVD this summer. The long goodbye to Lou. Every day, twist and turn, imagine and learn with JoJo Circus. Inside Playhouse Disney, only on Disney Channel. Yeah. Here we go. It's full of fun. Whoa. Encourages kids to move about. First you bend, forward. <laughs> wow, what a bow. And teaches a great lesson in every show. I learned that no matter what, always do your best. JoJo's Circus, every day inside Playhouse Disney, only on Disney Channel. Roo and Lumpy are the best of friends. They love to play hide-and-seek in the hundred-acre wood where Roo lives and in Heffalump Hollow where Lumpy lives. Would you like to play with them? If you'd like to help Lumpy find Roo, move your highlight over Roo and press Enter. If you'd like to help Roo find Lumpy, move your highlight over Lumpy and press Enter. Hey! We're gonna play a game! I can't wait! <laughs> Me either, Rooty Ch Oh, goody! We're gonna have lots of fun looking for Roo! Now close your eyes while Roo hides. And remember, no peeking! You better start hiding, Roo! Okay, wait right there! All right, it's time to open your eyes. Roo has hidden himself very well. Where do you think you and Lumpy should start looking for him? In his house or in Rabbit's garden? Move your highlight over the place you want to look for Roo and press enter. Here we come! Now where could Rupert 
the ruby. This is Rue's house. I've played here before and Rue's mummy makes yummy biscuits. We'll find him for sure. Oh yes, Rue's house. Rue loves to hide here. Look very carefully at all of the places he might be hiding. And when you think you've found him, move the highlight over the spot and press enter. Shall we start? Where should we look first? Oh dear indeed, it's Piglet. Try looking for Rue in a different spot. <laughs> That's a funny place to hide. <laughs> Tigger dig digger! He likes to jump and mats like me! You still need to find Rue. He must be hiding in a different spot. Don't let me hold you up. There's our friend Eeyore, but where's Rue? Please try again. Ah, uh, I thought Rooty Toot was there too. No oh, bother. Pooh Bear, he's always very nice and he's always very hungry. <laughs> Why don't you try again? Here I am, right here. We found you, Rue, we found you. Great job! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! You found me! That was fun! Come on, let's find Lumpy now, okay? Well, now that you've found Roo, why don't you team up with him and go find Lumpy in Heffalump Hollow? Where do you think you and Roo should start looking for him? At the mill? or near the fence between Heffalump Hollow and the Hundred Acre Wood. Move your highlight over the place you want to look for Lumpy and press Enter. Look! The old mill. Lumpy loves to hide here, so we're going to have to look extra hard. Lumpy has hidden himself somewhere in the mill. Look very closely at all of the places he might be hiding. And when you think you know where he is, move your highlight over the spot and press enter. Hmm, now where should we try first? It's Rabbit, and it seems like he might know where Lumpy is. Give it another try. I was sure Lumpy was up there. Where could he be? You did it! You did it! Yay! That was great! You found Lumpy <laughs> even though he was hidden very well. Yay! <laughs> For fun! Thanks for playing the game with us! Yay! Yay! That was the best game of hide and seek ever! You found Lumpy and Rue, and they both had a wonderful time playing hide and seek with you. If you'd like to play with them again, press Enter on your remote control. Rue and Lumpy are the best of friends. They love to play hide-and-seek in the Hundred Acre Wood, where Rue lives, and in Heffalump Hollow, where Lumpy lives. Would you like to play with them? If you'd like to help Lumpy find Rue, move your highlight over Rue and... Lumpy is really good at hide-and-seek. Thanks for helping me look for him. This is going to be fun. Rue is very excited about looking for Lumpy with you. Close your eyes while Lumpy goes and hides. And remember, no peeking. 
Okay, I'm ready, Lumpy. <laughs> You'll never find me here, Rudy Toot. Okay, open your eyes. Lumpy has hidden himself very well. Where do you think you and Roo should start looking for him? At the mill or near the fence between Heffalump Hollow and the Hundred Acre Wood? Oh, look, it's the big fence between the Hundred Acre Wood and Heffalump Hollow. Lumpy loves to hide around here. Come on, let's find him! Lumpy is hiding somewhere near the fence between Heffalump Hollow and the Hundred Acre Wood. Look very closely at all of the places he might be hiding. And when you think you know where he is, move your highlight over him and press Enter. I'm ready. Where should we look first? Don't let me hold you up. Oh, hi there, Eeyore. Let us know if you see Lumpy, okay? See if you can find him on your next try. Where are you hiding, Lumpster? <laughs> you did it! You did it! Lumpy, we found you! We found you! You're a very good hide-and-seeker. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm going hide even better. Do you want to help me look for Roo now? Now that you've helped Roo find Lumpy, why don't you team up with Lumpy and give Roo a chance to hide in the Hundred Acre Wood? Roo has hidden himself very well. Where do you think you and Lumpy should start looking for him? In his house or in Rabbit's garden? Move your highlight over the place you want to look for Roo and press Enter. I love Rabbit's garden, especially for the watermelons. I'm sure Roo is hiding in a really tricky spot. Rabbit's garden. This is one of Roo's favorite places to hide because there are so many good hiding spots. Look very carefully at all of the places he might be hiding. And when you think you've found him, move the highlight over the spot and press enter. Let's see. Where should we look first? <laughs> Tig is very funny. Room must be somewhere else. Please try again. Ooh, my. Now where could Roo be? We'd better try somewhere else. <clears throat> Young uh, heffalump. We're just looking for Roo, Mr. Rabbit. He's kind of loud, isn't he? Roo must be hiding somewhere else. Try looking for him again. I'm afraid to ask. No, Roo's not there. Unless he's hiding behind Eeyore. Perhaps you should look somewhere else for Roo. Here I am, right here. You found Roo. Wonderful. You did it, you did it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> oh, I had lots of fun. Thanks for playing the game with us. Yay. Yay. That was the best game of hide and seek ever! You found Lumpy and Roo, and they both had a wonderful time playing hide and seek with you. If you'd like to play with them again, press Enter on your remote control. <laughs>